so good morning students today we will start with the role of bank branch manager so as we have already discussed in the previous part 1 that what is a bank branch setup and we have talked about various services of a branch so today here i will talk about the role of branch manager so uh, branch manager we can talk as a head of the branch right so the branch manager do not come in direct contact with the customers only the front office people or the employees representatives they are in direct contact with the customer but on the condition if there is any problem or if there is any issue that is beyond the capacity of that representatives then the branch manager come into the contact of a customer second is the branch manager is a person who is the representative of the branch right so that is why he is uh, entirely responsible for the smooth conduct of the branch all the work that is done in the branch next is the branch manager he has the responsibility to ensure that each and everything is proper with a quality in the uh, branch premises and is very pleasant for the customer to visit and conduct businesses so that is why that uh, conduct of business and that quality of services involves making adequate number of staff to handle the business customers that means then maintenance of hygiene cleanliness minimum infrastructure facilities like drinking water is there washrooms and all that these type of services as discussed in the point next is uh, there may be some matters which are beyond his powers it is not every time possible that if a person is a branch manager then he can handle up every possible uh, query or every possible matter but there are some matters which are beyond the power of the branch manager so in that case the branch manager should directly contact with the his head to uh, come up with some solution of that problem right next is we have he should keep his staff informed about the latest updates on the bank's uh, business for example uh, about the changing rules about the changing rate of interest or other new products that are to be introduced so this may be done through the arranging periodical briefings or periodical meetings of the staff on various aspects of the banking next is he should also conduct periodical meetings of all staff members just to discuss about the performance of bank all over for example if we taken if we have taken an example of hdfc bank so uh, if the how the branch is working he can uh, just discuss about the performance of his own branch then he can discuss about the targets that are to be reached or the targets that they have already met like that next is he should be well conservant with all the background of the important customer for example if there the bank branch is situated in some village so in that village the important customers are the panchayat panchayat we can call or we can say the number dars that are there or the some important other important personalities so he should be in the contact of those important personalities or customers of a branch next is uh, he also along with the panchayats along with the number das he may arrange a mass contact program so that he can uh, tell about the uh, all the services that his bank is providing towards the customers tell about the product that the bank is selling right so we know that the role of a branch manager is more than that so till this we have discussed all the acceptable role that a branch manager can provide so next is the branches they also provide you an automated teller machine function facility that is atm facility that is available 24 by 7 now coming to the next part we have the security setup at the branch now security setup at the branch we have some points that we need to keep in mind or take care of when we are opening a new branch first of all we should always see uh, the area of the location of the bank branches now when we talk about currency chest currency chest we can say that these are the branches uh, who are responsible for supplying the money to the 
other nearby branches right so uh, it should be uh, done keeping the safety and security in view and obviously the commercial considerations should not be given under weightage next is we have the branch of the the layout of the branch that is manager's cabin cash wallets cash cabin it should be uh, reviewed properly it should be designed according to the security aspects next is now uh, proximity to the police station and functional communication system are very important so we should keep in mind that what is the distance from the bank branch office uh, till the police station or some other communication systems next is the main entrance gate or main entrance uh, gate should be of the shutter gate and a collapsible gate with a chain should be provided at the entrance of the bank branch and locking arrangement should be there only one person only one person can enter they should permit only 18 inches opening so that only one person can enter at a time next is the strong room or the safe room should be kept away from the public they should not um, be in front of the public or the public should not directly see go through the strong room now coming to the next point there are some other guidelines that are to be provided the first is we have all instructions regarding specifications for strong rooms including fbr now the full form of fbr is fire and burglary resistance rooms uh, doors may be strictly implemented so the rooms the door of the strong room should be fire and burglary resistant secondly the instructions regarding the custody of the keys should be given that is who will be uh, taking care or who will be taking the custody of the keys of the locker and safe keeping of the duplicates uh, duplicate keys at any other place next is we have care may be taken while positioning the cashier's cabin the cashier cabin should not be uh, right at the side when we enter or exit right so it should be as far as possible it should be away from the entrance or the exit points all the emergency lights that should be installed and they should be properly uh, always in a working condition next is windows or ventilator should have proper standard grills so no window no ventilator should be left without any grill next is if you are posting any guard so you should keep in mind about the uh, location where your branch is situated if your branch is really situated in the area where you feel like the thieves can enter or there can be some other uh, event that can occur so we can take that into consideration according to the threat perception of the area next is all the modern equipments like night latches to cashier's cabin now if we talk about night latches night latches are it is a just uh, or it is a type of lock that is fitted on the surface of the door and when we operate that means when we want to open that if you are, you are opening that from the external exterior side you have to use a key and if you are opening from the interior side then you will have to operate by a knob so that are night latches uh night latches we can call next is grill gates to strong rooms it should be there as we have already discussed that the uh, strong room gate should be fbr that means fire and burglary resistant same way along with that there should be a grill gate to the strong room and obviously the alarm system in the strong room should be provided next is hotline connection hotline connection means direct call for emergencies should be provided it should be directly connected to police station it should be directly connected to the police control room or fire brigade brigade and auto dialer should also be there if we feel the necessary next is all weak points like opening for exhaust fans and air conditioning duct now duct is what it is a tube of ray through which air or light passes so these should properly be strengthened with appropriate rcc work and steel plates so steel grills should be installed unnecessary windows should be closed permanently the windows that we don't use should be closed permanently next is wherever we keep our gun or ammunition it should be in a metal gun cabinet and it should have more than normal number of hinges now if we talk about hinges hinges means in punjabi we call that as kabja 
right so hinge in english we mean that a piece of metal that is uh, attached to a door or window that allows the door or window to open right so that should be arranged accordingly next is we have the gun cabinets uh, should be embedded in the wall if they are not then we should keep inside uh, keep inside the strong room proper review of such embedments can be taken now embedded means it should be fixed in a wall so these were all the important points regarding the with that we should keep in mind before opening the brand new bank branch and now coming to the setup of a branch this we will this topic we will cover in the next video thank you